Hey y'all, getting out some things today. I'm wanting to make chicken noodle casserole. Sometimes we call it cheesy chicken and spaghetti or creamy chicken and spaghetti or just chicken and spaghetti. Um, this one is a little different than that real easy dump one I made for y'all and I'll link that in this video so you can watch it too. This one's got a little more love, a little more time put into it. It was taught to me by a lady I work for, Miss Agnes in town. And I've kept it, I've made this for 30 years plus, and we're not gonna say how many plus, right? Um, first thing I wanna say is, instead of just boneless, skinless chicken breasts and thighs, she would use the skin on and bone in chicken breasts. And I really like that. One thing, it's less expensive. Number two is the bone in gives this so much more flavor. It's almost like you're making a stock and it's lots better for us too. So I'm gonna wash these Put them in the pot and I'll meet y'all right back. Okay, y'all, these chicken breasts are huge. You see that? Um, I like that. So I'm doing four and you certainly could hack this recipe. I'm gonna share this with John's Aunt Diane and Cousin Amy and Uncle Robert. So that's why I'm making a big batch because I want to keep some for our supper too. Um, since it's four big chicken breasts, I'm gonna put a uh, whole teaspoon of salt. I believe this is a half a teaspoon, so there we go. And that's totally up to you how much salt you want to put, okay? We're gonna have cheese in here later, and y'all know I salt my layers, so we will salt as we go as well. So that's all I'm gonna put in here. And then some fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna get these boiling on the stove. And I love to let mine go. They're probably done in 20 or 30 minutes, honestly, but I like to really cook the Cook the chicken so it's tender, fall apart, you know, so. I'm gonna bring this to a bowl and then turn it down on about medium low and let that cook for an hour or so till it's just totally falling apart. And I'll really condense that broth in there and almost make it like a stock to flavor our whole meal. I'm gonna show you some other things and we're gonna get chopping and get this put together. Let's see, I love to use this, you know, usually chicken and spaghetti is the long spaghetti. So that's why I call this chicken noodle casserole because I don't actually use spaghetti. And this is called no yolks. Um, you can use the egg noodles just as well. The reason why I use these is they seem to hold their integrity better to me in my experience. So I get these, but if not, you just get you some egg noodles, okay? Let me show y'all up close what this is. And I'm starting with three big packages, 12 ounce packages, right here. These noodles like this. And it makes a really good little casserole. Also, we're gonna have some bell pepper. I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna chop a large onion and some celery, and I'll see y'all back in just a sec. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Whew. I had to get mad at those little jar of pimentos. Yes, I did. And then I just tapped him a little bit on his lid, and it came right open. Whew. I wish I'd done that before. <laughs> it hurt. Okay, guys, some things I need to do. I washed all my stuff here. I even washed my onion. <laughs> um, I'm zesting with this little plane. I'm gonna zest this lemon. Y'all know I always harp. Don't zest into the white part because that's what's bitter, just your color. Miss Agnes would just use um, that lemon juice concentrate. She kept that in her refrigerator, but it brightens this little uh, chicken noodle casserole up really nicely and I love it. And I've added the zest and not just the juice and it's a fresh lemon, but you certainly could use that bottled stuff. I won't fuss. Miss Agnes's was delicious. Yes, it was. Um, she was a lady I worked for up in town when Tyler was a baby, not in school yet, and Blake was just in elementary. So I was able to drop him off at school and then stay there and he could ride the bus there and then Tyler could stay there with me. So it was good. And y'all know wherever I'm going, I'm trying to learn a recipe at Thanksgiving and Christmas she was a single mom. Her husband had passed away when her children were really little. Matter of fact, she hadn't even had one of them yet. And so she had to make it. She's a survivor girl. She sure is. And so during Christmas, 
she would sell pies and cakes and I would help her do that too. So I learned a lot of cooking from her and she actually learned from me too. She, I'd come in and say I'd make something for lunch and she'd, she'd like that recipe and keep it. So um, anyway, she was a great experience for me. She certainly was. Let's get this to the side. She's still keeping kiddos to this day and that was 20 some odd years ago. She is tough. I don't give her that. Yes, she is. Okay, y'all. Y'all see, I've got my lemon zested, and then I'm just going to slice it in half. It'll be ready to juice. That's like right at the end. Now, we're going to do a couple of bell peppers, and you certainly could use red bell pepper. That's why I use this little jar of pimentos with the juice, because I love that flavor as well, because it puts a little red pop in there. It will. I know I'm always telling y'all places I've worked, y'all are like, you've done everything, Amy, I have. I've done a little bit of everything. You know, that's what we do to make it. <laughs> yes, we do. And while, while John Tyler was little, I like to watch children uptown. Yes, I could. Miss Agnes lived up in town. And so that's what I did. We do whatever we can, huh, to make money. When I grew up in high school, um, I started working for this huge corporation in the industrial park in West Monroe, and I worked there for 13 years. And once I met John and moved out here and married, um, and started having children, it got to be just too much to drive, you know. So I stayed, I stayed here and started doing other little things. I left a career type job and started doing mama stuff, but I love it. Mama and wife stuff, and I wouldn't change that for the world. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I feel like that's why I was put on this earth, is to be a mother and a grandmother. I do, I do. Y'all see, I'm just chopping. One of y'all said, it was more than one of y'all said, when I made my last video, I left all the chopping out, and y'all said, I love watch you chop. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some of this chopping in here, but not all, because I imagine other people say, oh my goodness, you could have cut that shorter. <laughs> We're just all different, aren't we? We all have different needs. That's why I love to do some of my videos real short, because if I've made it before with y'all, then you can hop on there and watch the short version and see how to cook it real quick, you know. Um, cause I don't always have time to sit and watch somebody talk and yak and tell stories either. <laughs> no, I do not. Um, and that's another thing. I, Miss Agnes was an old time cook, you know. Y'all, since that chicken is boiling over here, this will be a great flavor in our broth or stock or whatever we want to call it. So I'm going to put these little tops in here, okay? Something I do when I'm doing gumbo too, right? Anyway, Miss Agnes, she said old time cook just like my mama's and aunts and such. And you say, well, how much of that? And how much of this? Because I really wanted to keep this recipe. And she'd be like, I don't know. Because she just put it all together. You know, she didn't have it written down anywhere. Y'all know how that is. So through the years, I've tried to come up with the recipe of like how much bell pepper and how much onion and celery. And I think I said about a cup of each on a single recipe, and you can do like a whole chicken on this. And y'all, if you don't have time to boil the bone on, bone in and skin on chicken breast, of course you can shortcut that, okay? I'm just wanting to show Aunt Diane a little more love. You know how sometimes you want to love on somebody with food, and I'm just gonna do the one that Miss Agnes taught me. I made this with just chicken breast and thighs, I made it with the whole chicken, so you certainly could buy a rotisserie chicken and shortcut it really well. You sure could. And so this is gonna be about a cup, I'm not gonna get back around to my story, um, about a cup of each of these veggies, but I'm probably gonna do about a cup and a half to two cups today because I'm kind of doubling this recipe so it'll be plenty for Aunt Diane and Uncle Robert and Amy, and then they might even could eat it left over. So that's what I'm up to. But uh, 
Again, Miss Agnes would just chop up a bell pepper and chop up an onion and some celery. So however much you like or don't like, that's what you can do and make this your own little recipe. Yes, you can. Okay, y'all, about to get started on my onion and my celery. I'm gonna show you one more thing on my celery in case you've never seen me chop it. Celery, I already pre-washed this and had it, because I like to eat it for like a little snack. Mm -hmm. Like that, mm -hmm. Anyway, once you've got a stalk out, um, I like to almost go all the way through like that and I'll get on this back side that's got these strings in it like that. And I like to get those out of there. Not all of them, like you don't just have to wear yourself out, but that's a good way to get a bunch of them off. You see that? Again, I almost go in all the way just till you get to those strings and pull up and you'll get them out of there and out of the way. I have always done that. These strings are pretty fibrous, so I sure have always done that. And if you don't want to, then don't. Okay, that's just what I do. It's just what I do. Just like that. That's all I wanted to show y'all. I won't bother y'all with chopping the onion. I'll see y'all back real shortly though. And when I come back, that chicken will be done and I'm gonna pull it off the bone. I love that skin on because it's really flavoring our broth too. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna get down to the chicken meat chopped and then we'll put this all together and it won't take many more things. Um, something Miss Agnes would use is a, a small block of Velveeta, I think it's a pound instead of a two pound. And it was it was called mild Velveeta at the time and it had chopped jalapenos in it. Well, I can't find that in the store anymore. So I just got a regular Velveeta. And y'all know those pickled jalapenos, I'm gonna chop some of those, maybe about one or two tablespoons. Um, I don't wanna make this really, really spicy. Uh, Aunt Diane, she's battling lots of health issues big time health issues that's why i'm wanting to love on her and i asked amy at church sunday is there something i can cook for her and she said she's craving chicken and spaghetti and i said oh good i'll make that so that's how i like to love on people so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna make my own mild velveta and we're gonna have cream of mushroom and a little more chicken broth just in case we need it i have some and that jar of pimentos undrained and my chopped onion and I think that's going to be all, unless I forgot something, then we'll dig something else out. So I'll see y'all back, and we'll put this together. Y'all, I wanted to tell y'all real quick, this weekend for my birthday, John did take me out to eat Saturday evening, and we went to go see a movie. Um, just because I don't care what movie show, as long as I get me a big old tub of butter popcorn. <laughs> And the movie we went to go see was called Jesus Revolution. And if y'all haven't seen that, it is really, really good. It's a true story. And it's great. It's about the hippie time. And it's about just the humor of the elderly generation getting together with them. And what a great movement it was. And it was very inspiring, very well written. So if y'all are wondering if you ought to go see it, yes, you will enjoy. I laughed and I cried. And it was a great, great little movie. So, anyway, I'm just plugging that in there for y'all. You may can rent it soon at home. So, wherever you can see it, yes. Yes, see it. Into my pan, I am putting about a half a stick of butter. Get that milk. And to this, I'm going to add our chopped celery and onion. I chopped about one to two tablespoons of jalapenos, those pickled jalapenos we made together. Give me something that works a little better. And our chopped bell pepper. See if I can do this without making a big old mess. 
There we go. I'm going to saute this for a few minutes. Let everything get softened really well. Mm, this smells comforting right here, y'all. I'm also going to add a nice pinch of salt to this layer. We're going to flavor season each layer so we won't be lacking in the end. And some pepper. All right, our veggies are nice and softened. I know y'all see those. The onions are kind of translucent. So it is time. We will add our jar of pimentos, diced pimentos, with the juice. And I'm adding one large can of family size cream of mushroom. You can do two smaller cans. And don't you worry, I will put the recipe in the description box and under the title on all my videos. So you just sit back and relax. And I like to add to this so I can get this all cooking together. One can of chicken broth. You could add water if you want to. I just always like to add flavor. Y'all know I do. And then, I know you remember. And then I know you remember our lemon zest. It is going in. And our lemon juice. Just freshen it, brighten it right up. It's come together. It's beautiful. I'm gonna keep it warm. Put it right here. In the meantime, this stock pot that I strained the chicken out of and deboned the chicken, I'm gonna get this boiling and we're gonna cook our egg noodles in it. Alright y'all, our broth is to a boil. I'm gonna put in, I'm putting in all three bags because I'm sharing. You could do two bags, you could do one bag. This is a very forgiving little recipe. And you can make it as big or as little as you want to. But I'm gonna make a lot. I am going to cook these, I'm gonna return it to a boil and I'm gonna cook these down to al dente. Not really, really, really done because I want to let them bake and not get too, too soggy in the casserole. See, I've filled it up. I'm gonna let these noodles cook down in this broth. That's another thing about this recipe. You can make it as juicy or as not as you want. So I like it to be these noodles just done in that broth. And if I need more broth, I'll add more when I put the whole casserole together. That's how I like to do it, and I just keep stirring them in so the ones on the top will get done as well, but not overdone. Let's give one a try. Almost. All right, I believe that's it. I'll show you what I mean. See, it's got some jiggle to it, and I tasted one, and it's not too soft. You don't want your noodles just totally disappearing into your casserole, do we? No, you don't. All right. We'll put them there, and now we can get this show on the road. Into this big pot will go our broth and our noodles. All of our deboned chicken. Doesn't that look good? Y'all, this is a seven and a half quart pot. <laughs> it's a big one. And we're gonna need it all, aren't we? Yes, we are. Now, I have my Velveeta that I just chopped up into blocks so it'll melt easier. And I'm going to stir it all together. Let my cheese melt. I'm going to put the lid on it a minute and let that cheese get melty and stir it while I'm cleaning up. Tidying up. 
Oh, we've made it to the fun part, the taste test. A good cook always checks the quality of their food. Quality control, right? Just get a teeny tiny bit. You see it's nice and juicy. I know it seems strange me not putting too much broth in that with those noodles, but that's how that's how I knew it. That's how Miss Agnes did it too. Yes, she did. And if she needed it, she added it later. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to get some chicken and some veggies. And the noodle. Mm. This takes me back. <laughs> takes me back to being a young girl with little kiddos. Mm. It's good. It does need a little salt. It could use just a pinch of salt. You see, we didn't over salt everything, so. It could use it. And some pepper. And I'm going to show y'all, this is exactly how my family would eat it if we were here. We would just totally eat it right out of this pot, okay? But because we're sharing it, and if I take it to any kind of a family gathering or a church social, whatever, I do it like this as well. I've got this disposable so nobody has to worry about getting me any kind of dishes back. You know, I hate to stress people out when they're already not feeling good. Y'all know what I mean? And I need a bigger, bigger spoon for that. Yes, I do. Let's get serious here. And I'm just going to fill this casserole dish. I put this lid on for a little while and I let it totally melt all that Velveeta. If you want it to be cheesier, see it doesn't really seem cheesy, does it? Um, it just lends to the flavor. So if you want it to be cheesier, you, you certainly could add more cheese. Like I said, it's a very versatile recipe. It's forgiving and you can make it your own. You can add whatever you want or don't put something you don't like. It's flavorful and I love that. Something else that's good in here is a can of cream of celery. Um, if I had it, I would put it today because it lends a great flavor all in here. Okay. Now, I am gonna make it a little cheesier since I'm sharing this and if I take it somewhere, I do this. I've got a triple cheddar you put cheddar, whatever you want to. It just makes it look nice and casserole-y, right? Is casserole a word? I don't know either, but there we go. Now, because I'm taking this, I'm not going to bake it. But right now, I'm going to just put it in the oven and let it bake and melt that cheese. So, I'm going to get this packed up. I'm going to take some garlic bread and some garlic bread sticks. Maybe a little salad and you've got supper. Y'all see how much is left over? John and I will eat this for supper. I'll also be able to freeze us a casserole and we can have it another time. And that is a good thing. Yes, it is. I appreciate y'all being with me here this afternoon. John is out in the pastures digging thistles. Y'all know thistles. Oh, they're a nightmare in a pasture. So I'm going to go help him because I'm feeling guilty because I need to get out there and help and get me some exercise so I can eat this chicken and spaghetti. I'll see y'all next time, though. Y'all take care.